Hey everyone, my name is Deep Patadia, currently a pulmonary and critical care fellow at Mount Sinai St. Luke's, Mount Sinai West, and Mount Sinai Beth Israel. Uh, for this mechanical ventilation talk, now we'll continue with the target variable. So here's the target variable. Now we've, we've finished up with trigger, now we're on target. Now what is target? Target is how a breath is delivered during inspiration. Is it delivered fast or is it delivered slow? Now, the target variable is delivered in one of two ways. You can either have a pressure target or a flow target. Now, you cannot have a volume target because volume doesn't designate how a breath is delivered. Now, volume over time, that's flow. But technically, you cannot have a volume targeted mode. So let's talk about each of these individually. First, let's start with the pressure target. Here, pressure is your independent variable. It is something that's constant. It is something that we set. Every time we set it, the amplitude is exactly the same. For example, I can set a pressure control of 20 centimeters of water, and every single breath, the pressure will be 20, 20, 20, 20. Here, pressure is your independent variable. However, flow will be your dependent variable. Flow will be variable which every single breath. So let's take a look. Here you can see that the amplitude is exactly the same for every single breath in the pressure scalar. The pressure is exactly the same. Why? Because it's something that we set as the independent variable. So let's take a look at this waveform. We have one breath here and one breath here. Take a look at both of these pressure waveforms. They look exactly the same. The amplitude is exactly the same. The morphology is exactly the same between the two breaths. Why? Because pressure is your independent variable. We have set it. We have set it to a pressure control of 20. 20 plus your five people five equals 25. Every time a breath is delivered, the pressure is always gonna be 20 above the peep. However, what varies and what's different and what is the dependent variable is flow. So take a look at this flow here. Take a look at this flow here. The morphology is completely different if you, if you look very closely. That, that way, just by looking at the waveform, you can just look at the morphology of the flow scalar, see that it's different, see that it is the dependent variable. Interestingly enough, in pressure control ventilation, the target variable is pressure. In pressure control ventilation, we set the pressure control as well as something called inspiratory time, which I'll get to later. But in pressure control ventilation, we set two things, the pressure control and the inspiratory time. Like I said, the pressure waveform is consistent, does not vary. However, the flow here varies. In the Puritan Bennett, you can see that the pressure can be adjusted right here with the inspiratory time right there. I'll talk about inspiratory time later. Now we've talked about pressure target. Let's talk about flow target. Now in flow target, the independent variable is flow. We set the flow as well as the waveform. Here, the flow should be consistent with every single breath. Flow is the independent variable, but what varies is the pressure. Pressure will vary and that will become your dependent variable. Now there's a few ways we can we can adjust flow. We can put we put a numerical value in for flow. But what we also do is we put in what the flow ramp looks like. There's a few common ramps out there. Something called decelerating ramp which looks like this. Then there can be a constant or rectangular which looks like this. You can have your ascending, which looks like that. Or you can have your sinusoidal, which you can set to this. These are common ones we can do. However, the most common is decelerating ramp and your constant or rectangular. So again, in flow target, we set both the waveform and the actual flow. So let's take a look. Here is an, an image, all right? We have pressure here, we have flow here. Now, take a look at both scalars. 
and tell me what you think the independent variable is. Taking a look at this picture, it's a little confusing at first because both the pressure looks exactly the same and the flow also looks exactly the same. So the question is, which one is your independent variable? One thing that I can tell you is take a look at the flow scale R. It looks so perfect, almost as if it was selected because if this was your dependent variable, there's no way it would look so exact because it was set right here. So if this is your independent variable, you know pressure is your dependent variable. Interestingly enough, in volume control ventilation, the target variable is flow. It's kind of a misnomer. I wish it was called flow control, but it's not. It's called volume control, all right? But the target variable in volume control ventilation is flow. We set the maximum flow rate, which here is set to 50, and what the waveform should look like. It can look like this, which is a decelerating ramp, which we see reflected here. It could have been a constant, and we could have set it like that. But again, you, the operator, in flow targeted modes, such as volume control ventilation, set the flow rate as well as the waveform. Also in volume control ventilation, you set a volume. I'll talk about that later. Here, the waveform for the flow is consistent, looks exactly the same as your independent variable, but your dependent variable, which is pressure, will vary. So here's a little quick quiz for you, all right? Take a look at th these waveforms. Here's your pressure, flow, volume. Taking a look at this, pause it in a minute and let me know what the target variable is and what is the mode of ventilation. Pause it now. Okay, so taking a look at this, at first can be a little bit overwhelming, but like I said, let's go through each scalar individually to try to see what's going on. So what I ultimately do is I first take my eyes, I look at the flow scalar. If it looks like an independent variable or it looks like something I have set, that has to be your independent variable, which means that has to be your target variable. Now, this is a very nice constant ram shape right there, as you can see. There's no way that is a dependent variable. This has to be independent variable. So this is a constant ramp. Therefore, I know in this mode of ventilation, flow is my target variable. Now, which mode of ventilation do I know that uses flow as a target variable? That would be volume control. Now, without having any other information, just looking at these waveforms, I can tell you that the mode of ventilation for this patient is volume control. Here's a quick quiz for you. Uh, you have patient A on the left, B on the right. Two questions. Question number one, which is the type of target? What is the target variable in both A and B? And as a result, what mode of ventilation do we have? Pause the video now. Okay, taking a look at this, patient A. So what's the first thing I do to figure out what the target variable is? I'll take my eyes and I'll look at the flow scalar here. Now, this flow looks very dependent, looks very erratic, doesn't look smooth, doesn't look like something I've set. Therefore, this is not your independent variable, but flow is your dependent variable. So therefore, you know that the independent variable has to be pressure, which makes sense because pressure has a nice plateau up here, looks like, like the number I've set. So your target variable in patient A is pressure. And what mode of ventilation do we have? We have pressure control ventilation for patient A. Let's contrast that with patient B. What's the target variable? Again, my eyes go straight to flow, and this looks very constant, looks very consistent, looks like something I've set. That is my independent variable. Therefore, I know that flow is my target variable. What mode of ventilation do I know where flow is my target variable? Volume control ventilation. And that's it. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll be talking about the cycle variable.